guys you're highly welcome to my channel all right so today we're going to be um learning how to draft a bow structure sleeve okay some people also call it structure sleeve all right so we're going to learn the simplest and easiest way to draft it and um we'll cut it and sew it so let's jump right into it now the first thing i did is to get my pattern paper and i just drew a marginal line okay it's not compulsory but it's just for clarity now this pattern paper is on fold okay so now the the height of the sleeve or the width of the of our sleeve is two inches okay so i'll just go ahead and make a mark there all right i just connected it with a straight line now let's proceed so the length of the sleeve is 7.5 inches okay so i go ahead and mark it also on the the other line okay like so 7.5 inches now i'll come in with my ruler to connect it so here we have it um the height is two inches the weight is 7.5 inches now remember i told us that this paper is on fold so anytime you see that sign okay that shows that that side is on fold okay even if you cut it as a single pattern paper now from the folded part we're going to extend that part by one inch okay so i just marked my one inch now we're connecting from that one inch mark to our 7.5 inches sleeve um width okay and here we have it now from the top part we're coming down by 0 0.25 just to give it a little bit of curve okay so i come in with my curve ruler and we're going to connect from the width of the sleeve to our 0 0.25 mark okay remember we're connecting it to this folded side of the sleeve okay and here we have it we're actually done with the drafting now as usual we will label so that's the top part of the sleeve okay and that's the lower part of the sleeve you guys know i like to label a lot just to eliminate every form of doubt okay or confusion now we're done with the sleeve so we'll go ahead now and cut out our pattern okay and here we have it so this is the way the sleeve is going to appear okay so um i'll go ahead now and bring our fabric so so that we can transfer now this is the piece of fabric we're working with okay so the first thing you need to do is to go ahead and place your pattern on the bias side of the fabric now the bias side is simply the line of stretch okay you can see what i'm doing so you need to stretch your fabric to know the line of the stretch okay so if you place it vertically or horizontally the fabric is not going to stretch all right but if you um try and place it angular wise okay you will see the, your own line of stretch all right so we're going to go ahead now and place the pattern paper on our fabric remember we're placing on the line of stretch which is the bias okay you can see what i'm doing just to ensure that that is still the bias of the fabric okay <clears throat> i i hope that makes sense okay so i'll go ahead and pin down our pattern paper on the fabric all right remember i'm not pinning the pattern paper straight okay i'm pinning it along the line of stretch of the fabric now i'll go ahead and add 0 0.5 inch um sewing allowance around this pattern okay i know someone said that i say okay a lot but again what can i do all right so let's let's get back so i'll go ahead and add half inch round this paper round this pattern all right and we will continue okay so why we add the half inch sewing allowance kindly subscribe to my channel if you have not and hit on the like button all right so let's proceed now here we have it i have added my half inch round the pattern okay now we'll go ahead and cut out Alright, and here we have it. So I have cut out um, one. Now I'll go ahead and place it and we're going to cut out extra three. Okay, so in total we'll have four pieces of the fashion fabric. Now we're placing it along the line of stretch, which is the bias line. Okay, so I'll do this and um, so in total we're having four pieces of the fashion fabric and this is all for one sleeve. Okay, so I'll cut this out and we will proceed. All right, and here we have it. So I'll go ahead and take off the pins and the pattern paper. So what we have here is four pieces of the fashion fabric. We are going to be making use of 
um two for each okay now if you're if you're going to have issues identifying the lower part just go ahead and give it a notch all right so um we'll proceed to the interfacing so i will be making use of hair stay interfacing okay we're also going to be making use of color stay so in the open market they call it color stay but it's actually thick you can see it all right so they call it color stay now um the first thing i will do is to go ahead and cut out the hair stay okay so i'm going to um iron down the hair stay on both the fashion fabric and the lining part of the fashion fabric okay so simply i'm going to iron down hair stay on all these four pieces of the fashion fabric all right now we'll proceed to cut out um our pattern on the color stay okay now the sole reason why we're not using our fabric that we have cut out is because we don't want the color stay to enter the seam line all right we need it flat and relaxed so i'll go ahead and pin down our pattern on the color stay okay and we'll cut exactly what we have on the pattern all right so we'll proceed now to cut now we're going to be cutting two remember all we're doing is for one sleeve so you're going to repeat the same thing for the second sleeve as well so I'll go ahead and cut out two of this, all right? And we're going to be ironing it on the lining part of the bow sleeve or structure sleeve, okay? So um, now here we have it. So I went ahead to cut out the second part. So in total, we have two of the color stay, all right? So like I told us earlier, the first thing I'll do is to go ahead and iron down the hair stay interfacing on our fashion fabric okay both the lining part and the part that we're going to be using as the main um sleeve all right so now i'm going to be doubling the the hair stay so the hair stay will not be a single layer it's going to be double on each side remember that we're not putting any form of um bone on this sleeve okay so when i'm done ironing down the hair stay i'll go ahead and iron down the color stay just on one piece of the pair all right and here we have it so for each pair, I iron down the color stay on just one, all right? You guys remember that um, what we have here is four pieces of the fashion fabric. So on each pair, which is two, so we have the color stay on just one, all right? And um, the same thing applies to the second pair as well. We have the color stay on just one side of it, all right? Now we'll proceed to the joining process. So the first thing you need to do is to place it right sides facing each other, okay? So you place it like so. Now, you make sure that the part where the collar stay is on is facing up, okay? Because that's where you'll be sewing on. Now, you repeat the same on the second piece as well. So we're going to take this to the sewing machine and we're sewing um, after the collar stay. You guys remember that our collar stay does not include our 0 0.5 sewing allowance. So we are sewing along that line. Remember, you are not sewing on top of your collar stay. We are sewing after the collar stay for easy turning. All right. So I'll go ahead now and and take it to the sewing machine. Okay. So we are sewing only the top and the lower part. Now we are leaving the ends open because that's where we'll be turning from. Now we're also repeating the same on the other piece of of the sleeve as well. So I'll I'll stitch this and I'll show us how to turn it. All right, and here we have it. So I have stitched the top part and the lower part alone. So these sides are still open because that's where we'll be turning the sleeve from. All right, so let me show us how to turn it. But before that, we need to trim down. Okay, so we are trimming down our allowance to 0 0.25. Now we are trimming the top part and the lower part. So I repeat the same thing on the, on the other sleeve, okay? and i'll show us and here we have it so i've trimmed down so our allowance now is 0 0.25 the essence of this is to ensure that our sleeve lays flat when we are done so we'll proceed to turn now to turn this is not going to be that simple because of the color stay okay but it's not impossible all right so i'll just go ahead and keep pushing it in and i'll try and use my scissors to turn it okay you have to do this um carefully so that you don't hurt yourself in the process all right so i'm done turning it now you can see how rough this is looking because i'm yet to press it 
but I have pressed the second part and you can see how flat is looking. Now, the reason is because the color stay did not enter the stitch line, okay? That was why we did not cut it um, with the allowance, all right? Now, the, the openings, I'm going to tuck it in just a little, okay? And I'll take it to my sewing machine and, and I'm going to top stitch right on top, okay? I'll repeat the same on the second piece as well. Just tuck it in gently and top stitch. All right, and here we have it. So I have top stitched the rough edges. You can see how neat is looking now. Okay, so we'll proceed to, to join. Now, um, you can still identify the lower part of the sleeve, okay, because it has a little bit of an angle. So we're going to place it. One will overlap on each other slightly, but the width is, or the length is four inches, okay? So I'll go ahead and measure that and we'll pin. So like I said, one is overlapping on the other, okay, just a little, but in all, ensure that the length is four inches, okay? So I'll go ahead and pin the second side as well. All right, and here we have it. Now I'll take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to just stitch it so that I can hold it in place and take off the pins. All right, I'll do the same on the second side as well. So I'll stitch this on my sewing machine and we'll continue. All right, and here we have it. So I have joined them together now as a single piece, okay? So we'll go ahead now and attach it to our dress, okay? So I have attached um, um, the first one to the other sleeve. So we'll go ahead and attach this second one. So you come in with your dress that um, you, you must have attached your long sleeve or your desired sleeve length, all right? And we'll proceed to attach this bow structure sleeve or just a structure sleeve. All right, so I'm going to be doing this using a pin for now. So I'll go ahead and pin like so. All right, now one thing, you are not going to be pinning your structure sleeve um, following your armhole line, no. Just place it straight, okay, and pin. Now, this is because we cut it on bias. So it's still going to give us that curve, but if you cut it straight, um, when you're done, it will not look good. Okay. So that's the whole essence of placing it on bias to cut so that we can have that stretch. Okay. Now I'll also go ahead and pin, um, on the back side of the dress. Okay. So just pin it straight. Don't try to follow the armhole line or of the sleeve. Okay. So, and here we have it. Now I'll go ahead and use my needle and thread to tack. Okay. But if you don't want to tack it, you can also use your sewing machine to stitch it down permanently. All right, and here we have it. So this is the, the structure sleeve. You can see how beautiful it is. Okay, so I love the final look you give to the dress compared to the way it would have looked if we did not attach it. All right, so that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Kindly subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.